more listen, ladies and gentlemen. Can I just say what a pleasure it is to be at this uh, LFI event? Can I thank you, Ambassador, for hosting this event? Can I thank LFI for the fantastic work they do? And can we just once again send our good wishes to John Woodcock, who is obviously yeah. absent uh, tonight and one of the as soon as possible. So I, I gather that I spoke for 64 minutes today. It wasn't really supposed to be that long. Uh, and it was 7,500 words, and it definitely wasn't supposed to be 7,500 words. So I now want to give you the other 64 minutes about foreign policy. <laughs> I promise you not. I promise you not. Uh, I want to pick up on something I said um, in the speech, because I mentioned this word faith. Uh, and I thought long, long and hard about mentioning this word faith because faith has often quite religious uh, connotations, and in, in my case it's sort of more complicated uh, uh, than that, but because I'm Jewish but don't consider myself uh, religious in, in the sense that many people would understand it. But I think this question of faith is very, very interesting, because I, if I can say this, Ambassador, I, what I've managed to do over the last year is get to know the Jewish community in Britain much better. And actually, I think the faith that I talked about in my speech is one that many people in the community would not only recognise, but act on in their daily lives. And I just want to sort of put on record uh, tonight my thanks to you and others in the community for facilitating that dialogue. Because whether it's in business or civil society or in the charitable sector, I think that the community makes an absolutely extraordinary contribution uh, to our national life. And, uh, and then I come to something else I said in my speech, I used what was a slightly strange phrase, which was, I said my family hadn't lived under the same oak tree for the last 500 years. And I think that's so important to understanding many of the things that the ambassador said in his remarks, and many of the things that I think many people in the state of Israel feel. Because I think if you haven't lived under the same oak tree for the last 500 years, if you faced this history of displacement, desolation, murder, I think it is always present in the background, and always present in the background of national life. And you try and put it behind you, but it's always there. And so I, I still want to put on, on record also then what I said in uh, the Munich uh, event, which is that we must have zero tolerance for those people who question the state of Israel and question the right of the state of Israel. And, and, and Ambassador, you were kind enough to say that the LFI lunch, I talked about my relationship with the state of Israel, which is also complicated, but, but I, 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 I think, you know, I, I do have this extraordinary memory of, of, of going to visit my grandma at the age of seven or so and seeing this photo of uh, a man, uh, and I said, in a way a seven-year-old does, who is that, I said, in a sort of rather flippant uh, way, and, and I was sort of ushered out of the room, and that was my grand, grandma, grandfather, who had been murdered in Auschwitz. And, you know, that is uh, deep in, in sort of who I am, and I suppose that's what I was trying uh, to say today. And then I come to the current situation, and. Ambassador, you in a way referred to this, and we've had very frank conversations, and very good conversations about this, that the situation looks incredibly bleak, let's be frank about it. The situation looks incredibly bleak. Because for those who believe in a two-state solution, the prospects seem worse and more distant than they've seen for a very, very long time. And, you know, I utterly condemn the rocket attacks that are launched from Gaza on the citizens of Israel, and I want to be very, very clear uh, about that. Equally, we take different positions on the question of recognition of Palestinian statehood, and I, I tried to explain this last year. We've taken the, we took the position we did last year and again this year, and that's simply because I think we've got to try and find a way, and that's a respectful disagreement, we've got to try and find a way of encouraging the moderate voices that exist, uh, the moderate voices that exist in the Palestinian community, I believe, to try and show that some progress can be made. But I suppose the sort of point I really want to the point I really want to make is uh, is this, which is that unless we on both sides 
and uh, I accept what you said, Ambassador, unless on both sides there is determination to find a way forward, then we will be cut, stuck in the current impasse. Um, and, and that isn't a very hopeful message, but it's a realistic message. While we are stuck in the current impasse, let me just add in terms of uh, Iran, uh, we also share with you deep, deep concern about Iran's nuclear ambitions. Uh, and that's why we've taken the position that Douglas and I have about tough sanctions uh, against Iran. Uh, I believe we must, must find uh, a peaceful way forward in relation uh, to Iran's nuclear uh, ambitions, but we are under no illusions about the scale of the, uh, of the challenge. I suppose the final point I would make is this, which is, I, I'll be frank with you, I did not grow up with a uh, deep understanding of either Judaism, or necessarily as much as I would have liked the Jewish community in Britain. One of the great pleasures of this job in the last two years has been to get to know that community better and to familiarize myself with the community and the great things that it does uh, for our country. Uh, Ambassador, the best I can say is that I hope you will find us uh, an honest and constructive partner, uh, both in opposition and, I hope, uh, in government. And we won't always agree, but be under no illusions about my commitment uh, to the State of Israel, to the existence of the State of Israel, to zero tolerance of anti-Semitism wherever we find it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the rest of the day.